What's up guys? So we wanted to give you a little update and behind the scenes of what's going on here. We've got all these team members packing up. We always have big events, especially this weekend. We have Olympia. a huge event. So at that point, we're having this all done today, right? We got the team members getting a U-Haul so we can pack all that stuff up because we got a lot of boxes. Yeah, so we have a lot of boxes because we have a lot of things to give out to a lot of people. That's right. You know, it's a lot of hard work Plus behind all this event stuff. It doesn't just magically pop up and just make itself beautiful, right? You have to have us behind the scenes. True that. Make sure that we build it. It's almost like Legos. It's True great. that. So there's a lot of hard work and a lot of effort that goes on behind the scenes to make our events what they are today. So when you see it, the final result, oh, it just didn't match to pop up. There was a lot of hard work and effort on our part, planning and getting everybody together to make sure that we have everything that we need, everything packed up properly, so we can give you guys the best presentation the Titan Medical Center can. It's always first class, everything that we do. So remember that, come out, see us at our events, and maybe get some of the cool Titan giveaways that we have. We'll see you then. Hello, my name is Lance Lockridge. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Um, I've been with Titan now for about a year. I was very uh, sluggish, to say the least. I was felt very tired all the time. Um, didn't have really the energy I, I definitely do now. So um, I, I couldn't figure it out. I went two or three years. Like there were some days where I couldn't even get out of bed. Um, I was very depressed um, so but anyways I went and got my blood work done and I had high estrogen I was feeling very depressed very like bipolar ish very um, I literally felt almost like a female <laughs> like just like just not like myself you know I, I've, I'm like when I was younger in high school I was always a very upgoing person and I could feel myself declining as I was getting older so I was just kind of really, I didn't know where it was coming from. Um, so my favorite are the Hercules Potion, the ECAs, and the uh, Cupid's Candy. Um, I love all three of those. Um, definitely the uh, Hercules Potion, I'm like really dead set. Like I've tried, like I started lifting when I was 15 years old so like i've tried all these pump products and these nitric oxides all of that but there is nothing like a hercules potion pump uh just the uh, aminos and everything that's that it's filled with all the citrulline and arginine um it's just your muscles like when you're in the gym literally just get so tight it hurts and I love, that's what I love. That's what I'm looking for in a, uh, a pump product. So, but the other one too, and I, you know, I think Blake would uh, back me up on this is the um, Titan Complete. Uh, my mood is so much. I it's a you know it's a I, I look at it as my multivitamin. It's filled with a lot of Bs, especially the B12. So it gives me a lot of energy. It's almost like an energy shot. So if I don't have that, you know, my mood's a little bit more down than what it would be if I had it. So I feel like gold now. So, um, you know, I, I love it. I love everything that they have to offer that I, I haven't used any products that I haven't liked. Um, you know, I haven't used the, the, some of the peptides that they offer because they're kind of newer. But um, I'm de I definitely want to because I believe in everything that they do and everything that they stand for. So, top of the line, um, these I would. There's not a company that I've ever been associated with or even like looked into that you get feedback from straight from the owners of the company. I mean, these people genuinely care about you. Um, and it's hard to find that, especially in these bigger companies, especially the medical centers. People are looking just just to get paid. And these people, like, it's not even about the money. It's about your health. It's about your happiness and about caring. It's about you. So I'm blessed. I'm, uh, I'm very blessed. I'm happy and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. What's up guys, John here. Sharif. 
and we are here at the Olympia in Orlando. Very exciting, first time only, and you know Titan Medical Center had to make a big presence here. So we brought the whole Titan crew, the whole Titan family, some of the fleet down with us, and a whole bunch of giveaways, t-shirts, tank tops, leggings, bags, because we want to show everybody out there a lot of love from Titan Medical Center. Olympia here in Orlando, Florida for the first time ever in under a month. Dan Solomon, the whole Olympia crew put this together. Yeah. Big hats off to them. Huge, huge, huge accomplishments here. This is the proof what Titan Medical can do. MK677. <laughs> there you Heart go. Potion, strength Addicts, Titan Medical will have 727 Come check us out. Channel Side Drive, Telemedicine, and we'll service nationwide. <laughs> is officially in the books. Titan Medical Center came out, we represented it to the fullest, gave away a ton of free Titan gear, connected with all types of people. Some people we knew, a lot of people we didn't knew, know, or so some new people we got to meet today, so it was awesome. This whole weekend was just been great, what do you think? I think we've met quite a few new faces, which was a lot of fun, but we came here and we conquered. That's right. That's what we did so with all, all of our team, That's and it right. was a blast. That's right, the team came out, represented awesome. Titan family was here in full effect. Very proud of them. All the athletes, even especially Rachel Daniels, who actually competed Seventh in the Olympia. In the whole world. Seventh in the whole world, so big shout out to her. Big shout out to the whole Titan team. My man Jay Jacobs behind there in art, getting all the footage and all the content for us. We appreciate them as well. So guys, stay tuned for all the behind the scenes content and some new stuff that maybe you haven't seen. So stay tuned, we appreciate you guys supporting Titan Medical Center. My name is Andre Adams, IFBB Pro Physique Athlete and NASM Master Trainer. 
I've been in the industry about 15 years now. It started as my own kind of self-discovery, getting myself in shape, you know, and competing in powerlifting and physique, uh, bodybuilding. Uh, but then along the way, I started training athletes. So about 10 years into the game now, um, everything from general weight loss, improvements to body composition, and then of course, physique and bodybuilding athletes. Initially, I heard about Titan through other friends within the bodybuilding community. Actually, a good friend of mine, Coach Handeka, another IFBB pro and Olympian athlete. And, you know, Co was telling me a little bit about, hey, you want to find out what's going on, on the inside? You know, let's, let's do some discovery work there. Check out Titan. Uh, let's go do their labs. And then also the injectable vitamins. So that was the other thing that really caught my eye and my attention at the time. Uh, Hercules Potion is one of those products that ended up working great for me, which we'll talk more about in a minute. But uh, about three and a half, four years ago is really when I got connected with Titan. And I was just so impressed with that level of service and how smooth everything went, you know, getting my labs. And I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin. So initially thinking about, all right, how's this going to work? You know, Titan's down in Tampa. Uh, very quickly, they were able to set me up with, you know, a local service provider to get my labs drawn. And within a day or two, uh, you know, I was able to have that consultation and find out what was going on on the inside. Before Titan, I was about five years into my competitive bodybuilding career, and I was really just looking for that edge. You know, two things. The biggest thing was visibility to what's going on on the inside. So, you know, let's learn about our blood work, kind of check uh, all of my labs through cholesterol, my hormones like testosterone, uh, estrogen. Um, so that was one important aspect just to make sure that I'm bringing my all-time best to the stage. Uh, but the other thing was also just, you know, starting to feel depleted over the years, lack of energy, feeling a little sluggish. Um, so, you know, maybe some of that's attributed to overtraining. Uh, a lot of it was also uh, some, some things we discovered with the, uh, the labs and the blood work. So back then, we're backing up about 27, 2018. This was my initial transition from IFBB men's physique into the classic physique division. And my blood work at that time, I noticed I was feeling a little bit sluggish. I realized my RBC was a little bit higher than normal. So, you know, the blood was a little bit thick, could be, you know, causing me to be a little bit more fatigued than I should be. Uh, genetically, I also have high cholesterol. Um, so that was another factor that I wanted to make sure I got under control. Um, so looking at those lag measures with the blood work, I was able to come back in and use different therapies and obviously just different uh, nutrition and dietary changes to address some of those underlying issues. The other key factor that we looked at were obviously the hormones, right? So when we look at the IGF-1, we look at testosterone free and total, we look at estradiol, all these things as, as I was heading into and also post-show uh, were big things that I was able to adjust and just monitor to make sure I'm performing at the highest level but also staying healthy. Uh, the most prominent therapies I use today are Nectar of Gods. I love that one early in the morning, just a lot of detox with the addition of the glutathione in there. Uh, but in particular, Hercules has been by far my kind of go-to uh, supplement by Titan Medical. So pre-workout, you know, I'm primarily training in that strength hypertrophy phase where we're looking to shuttle more blood, right? Oxygenated blood flow to the muscle groups. It does work systematically, but you know, for me, if I'm training a particular muscle group that day, uh, let's say I'm training my biceps, I prefer to inject actually right at that site. So again, it's just really uh, been able to help enhance the pumps. Um, help build that muscle and then obviously help me recover a little bit faster. I feel great overall. You know, my energy levels are definitely uh, superior to where they were just a year or two ago. And again, just having that confidence and that peace of mind when I'm doing a competitive show or just looking for general health. Now I, I fully understand my labs, right? What things I need to be conscious of or cognizant of as I'm prepping for a show and just ultimately trying to stay healthy, feel good. The service was amazing. Everybody's always fast and responsive. You know, you can drop Titan Medical a text and someone from the team will get back to you with the information you need. Um, as far as shipping, they've always been on point. You know, if I call up, sometimes I'm in a pinch. I don't realize I'm out of a product. I can just call and usually within a day or two, it's there at my doorstep. So medical providers, very knowledgeable, uh, informative people. So in the beginning, right, I didn't fully understand all the different uh, variables and you know, what's kind of out of, out of range, right? What are those outliers in my blood work? So getting that consultation and having the medical providers really break down each of those outliers and explain to me, you know, what things I'm doing in my diet or my training or what have you that are contributing to those, that was everything to me, that was gold. So 
Um, again, just very knowledgeable, dependable, and it gives you a good peace of mind about your health. Definitely happy as a Titan patient. Uh, in fact, over the years, I've sent almost all of my athletes to Titan at some point or another, whether it's to monitor blood work and labs or to get some of the updated products and therapies as Titan uh, releases them. And that's another thing I'd like to mention is just the innovative culture behind Titan. They're always on that cutting edge, you know, kind of pushing the, uh, the limits of what's next. So very excited to be part of the team and highly recommend them. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. Mm -hmm. That's right. So every weekend, every Sunday, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship get taken to the next level, right? Or maybe, uh, you know, spark up some more of those flames that maybe have been diminished through the years. Or maybe you're not in a relationship and uh, you're going to be in a relationship in the future. Hopefully. So hopefully you can learn some tips and tricks to hopefully make that relationship a very successful one. Because if you're not in one right now, something probably went wrong in the other one mm -hmm. and that might have been because of you or because your partner and honestly it's good to look at both sides of the coin and make sure that at least you're going to do your part in the relationship and then you can kind of look for maybe red flags or you can look for things to do to possibly help your partner get on the same page and same track as you yep. so that will give you guys a very successful and uh you know hopefully a long lasting relationship or we always talk about things that you need to do together right or not things that you might need help doing together right so that's what we're going to go over in this episode too yeah so this episode is really about um planning working together working together right that's that's one of the main points i guess communication's always thrown in there whatever the always. topic is please communicate you know because relationships work relationships you know personal relationships family relationships it's great to communicate because Nobody can really mind read, okay? Now, somebody might know you very well to a certain degree, and they yeah. might be able to, you know, almost come up with what you're going to think or what you're going to say mm -hmm. and kind of go by that. But you know what? Sometimes people are off in that situation too as well. So let's talk about this. Um, you know, setting yourself up for success with planning. And this could be, you know, planning for an event. So maybe you, your wife are planning a trip or your, your significant other, whoever it is, are planning a trip to go somewhere, you know, uh, what are you guys going to do um, for that trip? And how are you guys going to plan it out? Are you guys going to plan where you guys are going to stay? What you guys going to do? Um, or when are you going to go? Uh, yeah, when you, you guys go? have to like, I, I really think that sometimes and I've heard this a hundred million times, right? Whether people are planning trips to go on vacation, yep. planning trips to, uh, you know, other countries, let's say, let's say you're planning a trip to go to Disney World, right? Oh. I mean, I, this is a good example. Get the app. And, yeah. Well, the app still doesn't work, right? <laughs> we all know the app puts you like, you know, you get to pick two rides and, and you can go at 430. Uh, Yay, right? That works great. Um, sorry, Disney. But um, anyways, you know, it's just having to work together and have being on the same page, right? Because let's just say that we're you guys are planning this wonderful trip to Disney World. And okay, cool. You guys agree on the hotel. Now it's like, all right, well, let's just say one person is more involved in a, a business or let's say your job than the next. So one person's like, well, we're going to go at 8 a.m. And the next person's like, well, actually, I'm going to be tied up at 8 a.m. So we really can't go till 11 a.m. So this is where you have to compromise, right? You got to come to a happy medium that is happy for everyone. I mean, you can even give if you'd like, but that what that means is it's almost like, a, you know, give a little, take a little. So if, if somebody gives a little, that means the next time that they want something, you should probably give a little too, right? Because mm -hmm. it works both ways. Right. Yeah, it could definitely work like that. Um, and it could be different things too as well. So you like planning birthday parties, right? You plan a birthday party for your significant other. Um, you, that. you know, for yourself or whatever <laughs> it is. 
um, you know, you want to make sure you're taking the steps and going over all the different things. So if you're obviously in a partnership or relationship with somebody, you know, you're going to ask them, hey, listen, who should we invite? Where should we do this at? You possibly think <gasps> that's been ideas. a big one. That has you been know? a that that's been a big one. It's you know, because it's you know with the, even with like family, right? Yeah. You might have a family member that your significant other doesn't maybe get along with, right? right? And we're going to plan, let's say, a birthday party for Peter. Yep. Let's just call it that at the house. And you don't check with your significant other that it's okay to invite Bob, Uncle Bob, right? right. Um, and you and Uncle Bob had a little bit of a fight at the last Thanksgiving, and, you know, you just don't ask. Because yeah. maybe you'd be surprised how easy it is to just overlook things, especially yeah. if, you know, they have, let's, I'm going to use an example. Let's just say they had a kid. And the kid wants to come to the party. Now the parents want to come to the party. Yep. But you didn't even think about, oh, shoot, uh, Uncle Bob and John don't get along. Right. So, you know, you're, sometimes you need to take a minute and really mull over the entire situation. Yep. And don't just think about yourself. You know, try to think about your significant other. Absolutely. And I do feel like sometimes this can cause some friction. 100%. <laughs> between who's doing what and what's going where and how we're doing it, when we're doing it. All this fun stuff. Proper planning is key. Communication, yeah. like I said, is key. And talking with each other, like Sheree said, knowing what each other is going to do, right? And you guys have had some uh, some responsibilities assigned to you. So you guys kind of know what it is. You know what the game plan is. Laying out the game plan is key. And that's in anything you're going to do as far as planning goes. Now, it just might not be an event. Where, let's talk about planning your future together, right? Mm -hmm. Where are things going to go? Are you guys on the same page? You know, have you guys talked about, you know, what your life goals are, what you guys want to get out of life or get out of the relationship per se, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas some person might think, hey, listen, I'm just in this, you know, to have a good time. And the other person is thinking, we're going to get married here and have four kids together and two dogs and a white fence and the whole nine. <laughs> and then, you know, boom, you guys don't talk about it. And then one day it's like, hey, like. Where's my ring? What, what are you talking about? I'm just here for some fun. <laughs> Where's know? my ring? Uh, it's been a good ride. Why do we want to change this? You know, there's a whole bunch of things that come yeah. up like that. So, you know, plan your future, right? And then if you're together, like there's a whole bunch of other planning you guys can do, like financial planning. It's a big one. I don't think people really talk about their financial planning together like they should. It's always, hey, listen, we need to put away more money. Yeah, I agree with you. And then nothing happens. There's no plan of action put in place for this. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's a really, really big one because a lot of people fight and relationships end because of money. Money. My parents were like that. Financial problems usually really, really uh, put a heavy weight on the shoulders of relationships um, because it puts people in bad places, right? And uh, people don't know what to do sometimes, especially right now in the economic climate we're in. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are really well off, some people aren't. Um, and at that point, you know, people need to talk about these things. I think it's a it's an important thing to talk about. Um, I don't think you should be solely focused in on money or the financial part of it, but it definitely plays a role in relationships and it plays a role in life and what we're doing today, day in and day out. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a big one, you know. I mean, I think that's a really big, really big one. Yeah. Um, you know, planning your 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 son or your your kids. Uh, birthday party or graduation graduation party, party you know or you know even like the wedding planning stuff i know that stuff gets kind of sticky sometimes too that does get very sticky you know right? i mean even like planning a thanksgiving dinner right yeah. you know um <laughs> let's just use i'm gonna use a random example here just in case we have wonderful people watching but let's just say you're like oh yeah aunt marie you can bring your mashed potatoes right and then so you know the mashed potatoes show up with aunt marie aunt marie is super cool mashed potatoes are not good right and john is like why did you tell her to bring mashed potatoes you know i don't like her mashed potatoes and i'm like oh you don't even think of that where's my backup oh no i mean i guess i can order some rice from the chinese place john would be very happy with that by the way but yes. he was you know this is just an example of like knowing and trying to like fully think the whole entire thing through and you're keeping your partner in mind right because if you don't keep your partner in mind something is bound to happen yeah. and they're going to be like how did you not remember that yeah. or you know and then they get kind of nasty about it yeah, uh, I, I can understand that, you know, I mean, especially <laughs> your partner's, you know, throwing for a curveball at the last second, like, what is this? <laughs> you know, what's going on here? I wasn't told about this, wasn't informed about this, and now I have to be in this situation scenario. Me and John are in this scenario all the time. Because Absolutely. We, we work together and we have our business together. We plan events together, right? And people, different people talk to us, right? 
So me and John established in the beginning of the relationship that we aren't going to play the mom dad thing, right? right? And that's going to go for everything. That would go for with sure. our family. That would go with our kid. That would go with all of our employees. That would go with all our athletes. Everything. We always clear each other. Like you know, it's 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 a cleared pathway. It's never. Well, John said this, so I'm going to do it. I right. won't ever just say okay. I'll say, hey, John, did you say bop, 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 bop? And then he'll say yes or no. Then I'll answer. That is really important because then they play you against each other. Yep. And they play that game well. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's it, that game in itself, and that can go just if you don't even have a business and you're just, you know, with the kids or whatever it might be. Kids. That is, they play yeah. this game of mom, dad. Mom said yes. Dad said yes to said no, whatever it might be. Peter might be asking for McDonald's. He knows, I know he doesn't want him to have McDonald's. Peter comes to me and says, I can have McDonald's. Okay, well, did dad say it was okay? Uh, yeah, he said it was okay. Right, sure he did. And so then I ask, right? Absolutely. So that's a big one, I think, is making sure that it's cleared. You know, yep. the, mo the, the, the thing where you play them against each other, never a good thing. Never works, guys, and never works. Um, and planning will ultimately set you up for success. Um, when you're not planning for anything, whether it's an event, your relationship, financials, vacation, whatever it is, you're taking a chance of things going wrong. Um, and flying by the seat of your pants, you know, sometimes it'll work out. Been there, done that. And sometimes it won't, right? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you'll get lucky and maybe you won't. Yeah. Uh, we've been in those scenarios too. So, you know, it's different things you learn from, I guess. Um, and I always try to tell my son this. I'm like, be prepared, right, as much as possible because you never know when the rainy day is going to come. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what you need to do for yourself um, and your relationship, right? You want to make sure that you guys are planning for success, making sure you guys are following through on what your plan of action is, and ultimately getting the best optimal result you possibly can with each other. Um, so that's really it. I mean, as far as that goes, I think that... You know, you want to definitely plan, whether it's an event, whether it's your relationship, whatever it may be, and just following through whatever that plan is. Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I think that's it for Cupid's Corner this week. Yes. We'll be back every Sunday, 11 a.m., just for you guys. If you guys missed it live, don't worry. You guys can always DVR it. Also, check out all the episodes live on YouTube, right? Just type in Tight Medical Center. You're going to be able to go check out all the Cupid's Corners, all the Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle shows, plus a whole bunch of cool content on all our therapies, the behind the scenes of events, and much, much more. So check it out, guys. Also, go over to our Facebook and our Instagram. Give it a like, right? Give it a follow. And uh, you guys are going to love our TikTok. So if you guys want to see some entertaining stuff, and you guys are into TikTok, go over there. We're on Twitter too. So you can type up any of these different social media platforms and follow us on there for a whole bunch of cool original content with me, Sharice, and all of the Titan crew. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye, guys.